Steve Maeda with the TSL podcast, the founder of thesexuallife.com, official host of the 21 convention in Tampa, Florida. Get your tickets. It's going to be an amazing event and also one of the lead instructors at VenusianArts.com. And in this podcast, uh, this is a short clip that we have with Bravo, good friend of mine. Uh, check out his other stuff. Go to BravoPUA.com. Look at his form. It's, it's amazing stuff. But what we're talking about here is basically how to be a better man and that in the seduction community in the dating men's improvement and even self improvement realms there isn't a good definition on what it means to be a man there isn't a good example for somebody to follow like how to be in a relationship how to have a better sex life how to have a more dominant presence how, how to have total success in all of your life and to be honest this is steve and i's passion um this is what we do so definitely give this a listen check out bravo's site bravopua.com get on his forum he is a wealth of knowledge there and also go to thesexuallife.com get on our newsletter let's live the life to be the better man what i find is even more i could even say disturbing is that there aren't a lot of real men in the industry and at this point i don't give a shit if you get laid or if you've gotten a bunch of SNLs or whatever it is that's supposed to be good. Like, I don't see a lot of men that can stand on their two feet. And man, that's one of the reasons why I asked you on this is because I see a sense of integrity and consistency always coming from you, which is really cool. And so what is the end goal, you know, of it all? What is the end goal of being better with women, bettering yourself as a man, all that sort of stuff that you teach? Well, and I agree with everything you said, and I appreciate the compliment too. And I felt the same way. That's why when I met you at one of the seminars, I, I told you, I was like, man, I wanted to meet you for a while. I like the stuff that you're putting out. And then you bringing your girlfriend to the last seminar we were yeah. in California. I, that's finally when I decided, hey, you know what? I could bring my girlfriend around some of this stuff. Because most of the PUA guys I meet, I joke about it, where I wouldn't even like introduce them to a girl. Like when we were yeah. having the VH1 parties at Neil's house, um, when the mystery uh, pickup artist was on VH1, I would bring girls there. And other guys like that we know are trying to like steal my chick. Yeah. And I'm just like, man. What the fuck, man? You're, I go, you're the guy like I read about in this book. Like You're yeah. supposed to be here. I'm here. Why are you going after my girl? So I don't want to get into that and drop all uh, – and I never drop names. I mean I could write a book on all the right, crazy yeah. shit that I've seen. But I was, I was really disappointed with a lot of that too. I'm like, man, I bought into the hype, and especially working for the guy who wrote the book. I think I was the guy who like – I was disappointed probably more, more than most because I met most of the guys there. Mm -hmm. Anyways, getting into it and, and getting into pickup, A, what you said is right where a lot of the guys weren't walking the walk. They're selling the stuff. I'd meet him, and then I would go, man, I don't even, I don't even want this guy having yeah, my cell phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't give it to him. There's very few PUA coaches out there that have my cell phone number because there's very few of them I even trust with it. <laughs> um, so anyways, like, I, I, I got into that, and I, I, even when I was working for the last company, I always felt like they were, they were, we were missing so much of it. And, 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 and pickup for me was it, what happens is my trouble with women in relationships, not just women, but relationships – that was my focus. But when guys get into this and then start a company and start teaching, they're like, well, that's what I got good at. I can do it. And I wrote five field reports and I can start a company. Um, then there's the guys like I think us that, who got into this. And I'm like, wow, that, that's the problem. That's what I want to work on. But then as the light, the spotlight gets bigger, we result, realize that that's just a symptom of a larger overall issue. Yeah. And so then we start working on that and, back to, and reverse engineering, I guess, to the problem. And, and, and figuring out really what's what, where we're lacking, and we work on those skills. And then once you do that, then like, like I tell my guys, like, once you're a, a confident, squared away guy, picking up chicks is easy. Yeah. But the guys who aren't confident, squared away, then that's where they have to go. Oh, then I have to. What do I do next? What do I do next? And I mean, we're to the point now where I'm like, if I'm doing a boot camp or a one on one, yeah, I, I, it's nothing. You're just talking to people. Yeah. And everyone picks up on that positive energy, and it's crazy the things that can happen where. I don't want to tell stories about it, but just this, even with students who are with me saying stuff that they're like, can't believe it. They saw it with their own eyes. And they're like, how the hell did you do that? And I go, right, yeah. well, you saw me. You saw what I yeah. said. Yeah. That's how I did it. Yeah. With a smile. And they go, that's all you got to do. Yeah. But they're pretending to be cool, confident guys. And I think the big problem is with a lot of girls, so many women have a problem with a lot of girls. The problem with women that have with pickup is so many of the guys who get into pickup, they don't work on the larger overall issues. So they're pretending to be a cool, confident guy. Yeah get the girl or trick the girl, and yeah. then eventually the girl realizes, hey, wait, this guy isn't a cool, confident guy. So he fooled her. He lied to her. Or what happens is the guys go out and they go, hey, like we're doing boot camps or whatever, or meet some guys in the field, 
Like if I'm doing a boot camp, I'll meet someone in field who recognizes us or something. They're like, yeah, man, I went out and I did 20 approaches this night. And I'm like, okay, that's great. Well, how many phone numbers did you get? And how many girls did you tell me you thought they were beautiful and you want to get to know them more? He's like, none. And I'm like, all right, well, that's the reason girls think this stuff's creepy because that's not what normal guys do. They don't go out and do 20 openers a night. A normal right. guy goes out and talks to one girl that yeah. he thinks is pretty and he tries to have sex with her. So if you're not doing that, you're throwing off this real weird incongruent energy that now a girl goes, wait, that guy was a PUA. That was creepy. <laughs> if, if you are involved in pickup and you get good with women and you haven't moved beyond that into the, your whole life changing, then there is something wrong with what you're doing. Like you're... So let's do this, guys. Let's move on to that true evolution of self, your total self, to have absolute integrity and fluidity in who you are uh don't forget to support steve uh steve bravo that's you know his real name all that sort of stuff bravo pua.com and go to the sexual life.com because that is your resource center for everything you need to evolve to be that better man